Hi guys, thank you for all your questions ask, ask Kogo. Uh, we've had a lot of them. I'm gonna try to answer some, not all of them, because we don't we may run out of time and night and everything, so just a few of them. Um what do you think about pineapple on pizza? I I, I don't really know. I do like it sometimes, but all my Italian friends and fans are gonna be screaming and shouting, so I don't I don't know. Sometimes yes. But if I go in Italy and I get a proper Italian pizza, I will say no. Uh, is your next baby a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Finally, find a way to make a girl. So really super happy with that. What is one thing you always bring with you when you're traveling to races? Uh, my mobile phone and my computer. Uh, I just love love to keep contact with uh, my wife and and the kids. You know, we do we do videos, Skype. Um, and my computer just because there is my entire life in there and I, I like watching Netflix as well before the race just to relax a little bit best and worst moment in your F1 career so far best moment I don't know there's so many best moments you know that first race was Haas the first podium in Formula 1 that Japan 2013 were almost won worst moment uh, it's clearly Spa 2012 and Japan 2012 are the two toughest moments I had, you know, coming back on the grid after that, it was, it was tricky. So I'm, I'm glad it's over. Learned a lot from it, but uh, it wasn't a nice time. What do you enjoy doing on your ideal non-race weekend? Um, I love, I love spending time with the kids. If we can, if we can go out on the boat, um, go pick up an ice cream, maybe do a bit of wake surfing or wakeboarding on the way back. Um, we love going to see animals walking on the forest. Uh, we've got a lot of them around alongside Geneva. And uh, we do like cooking as well together. So on Sunday Sunday morning, we would we'd do a cake, muffins or whatever. No, not so good for the line, but I normally go on home train after. And, uh, and that's what we do. Um, what's your favorite movie? I, I think all my favorite movies are French, so I may just yeah um but i love i love series suits i absolutely love suits um huge fan of Harvey specter so it's just difficult one we've got six months without any new episode what's the top speed you've ever reached in your f1 career i think it was mexico 2015 where we did 370 kph um it's not a record i think it was the williams in baku but um it's still pretty fast. What's the most difficult section of the circuit of the America? Um, it's a tough circuit. There, there's a lot of sections which are difficult. There's a the first section, turn one, going up the hill and downhill, and then the high speed part is really, really tricky. But when you come back, you know, sector three is more low speed corners, traction, uh, tricky braking with G's. So it's it's a full, complete race track that I absolutely love. Uh, love how you take Sasha's drawing with you all over the world. Are you in a way an artist, uh, aside from being the wheel? And unfortunately not. My mother is an artist. She's a painter. I haven't inherited from a gift, and I'm actually pretty bad at it. But uh, yeah, Sasha is really happy that I carry his, his drawing everywhere in the world. Uh, I send him pictures of one well, to my own, uh, and and she show him, and he's super happy with that. What was the greatest moment of adversity, adversity you had to overcome on your career? I know you did get through it. Uh, well, I mentioned earlier, I think it was, it was Spa and, and Japan 2012. Um, it's one thing to get, you know, the fans are never going to be 100% your way. Uh, the media, same way, say. But when it's the race driver like Mark Webber that hits at you, then it's a bit more difficult. And um, yeah, I had, I had to... Uh, to get some deep into me to get some strong energy to come back and uh, and fight it but uh, you know a year later when the podium in in Austin and Mark Weber says well you've done an amazing job to overcome all of that and I was super proud of that moment are you still angry to win yes too much sometime too much uh, that's where the frustration came um, you know in Formula One it's not like early in your careers where everyone's got the same car you've got the same chance to win and i was lucky to win 
every championship I competed in, so you go to Formula One and you have to accept it sometime. Yeah, you don't get the chance to win, so it's frustrating, but I'm still very hungry and I'm sure the day I get the car, I'm, I'm gonna go for it, 100%. Tell us about your comfort food. I would say pizza. Pizza, I love it. Uh, if you weren't an F1 driver, what would you be racing instead? Um, I don't really know, you know, my car has been up and down and I've been trying DTM and um, I know there's another question about Le Mans 24 hours, if I want to do it after my career, so yes, I do want to go back to Le Mans 24 hours, I did it once in 2010 on a Ford GT, but I really want to go there and try to win the race, it was an amazing experience and absolutely loved it. How do you feel about racing in your home Grand Prix next year, French Grand Prix, yes, finally. Um, it's gonna be awesome, you know. It's it's something I've been waiting for a long time. Um, we've got the U.S. Grand Prix for the team, and it's such a great feeling that I can't wait to have the French Grand Prix as well, just to have you know the Marseille, the Antem uh, before the race start, and just all the fans coming and and a track that I really like. What's your favorite racing memory outside of Formula One? Uh, it's a funny one because I was I went to my dad's place the other day and. I went down the cellar and there's some of my trophies and I picked up one the first one I picked up was my first ever win in go-kart and I thought oh I remember that day back in 2001 uh, I got a toolbox uh, as a gift with the trophy and I was super proud so I'll pick up that moment what's your favorite recipe in your new book uh, there's, there's basically the book is about everything we do back home every single recipe has been a recipe that we've made uh, with my own with friends with family um i'll pick a beef wellington because i really liked it and i think it's just it's just great it takes time but you get something special at the end how your career has evolved from previous categories well as i say previous categories you get the chance to win everyone's got the same car and you can go for it and i was champion everywhere I competed in single seater which was great uh I had some really amazing years um so that's that's really cool and then you get to formula one which is the super top level where you really want to be when you're a kid and and still today i enjoy formula one every day you know it's so lucky to be here and to be in formula one but that's the difference, I would say, that when previous years, categories, you can win every single race. You can try to win every single race, whereas when you're an F1, if you don't get the card and it, it's a bit more complicated. What's your favorite sweet treat to make? Um, chocolate, chocolate cake, chocolate muffin, chocolate cookies. Name it, I'll be, I'll be following. What's the hardest part of being a F1 driver? I think we're very, very lucky and we need to remember every day. Well, every day I woke up and I'm like, yeah, I'm doing what I want. I wanted to do since I'm a kid and what I love doing. Um, the hardest part is leaving the house now that I've got kids, uh, Sasha and Simon, uh, and a little girl coming next. And, and Sasha is four years old and he really understands why I'm going away. And he's pretty sad. Um, so that, that just make you really, really, it's a tough moment to leave the house. But on the other hand, they know I, I, I love doing what I do. Uh, that's why I got a lot of pleasure. So when I come home, I'm, I'm in a good mood and we spend a lot of time together. Where does Qatar, what well, secret of the America rank for you in terms of the most enjoyable secrets in the calendar to drive? It's, it's up there. Austin is one of the best Grand Prix of the year. Qatar is a really cool track. Um, it's, it's the home Grand Prix as well for the team. So we've got a special atmosphere. Uh, just absolutely loving it. Video last year show you eating barbecue in New North Carolina. Was it hard to fit in those calories? Or do you have any barbecue in your new cookbook? I'm not quite sure I've got a barbecue in the new cookbook. Uh, we're not fully professional barbecue like it was the case in North Carolina or in Texas. Um, it's good protein, uh, but yeah, you do have to go running or cycling um, to, to burn those calories. But uh, it's so good you just you just keep eating keep eating and keep eating and the next day you need to add an extra couple of miles to your run what's going through your mind when you're waiting at a stop life to go out um good question 
uh, you know, you, you go on the grid and, and you do all your switches and you really focus on, on what you're gonna do and basically lights comes out, one, two, three, four, five, and then the key is the reaction, getting the best reaction, doing doing your procedure as it is supposed to do and then react to what's happening, you know. It's not like you can preview a start, you, there's 20 cars along, alongside you and you don't really know what everyone is gonna do. Um, so you can't preview, so you have to react to what's happening, find a good gap, um, there are starts where you think like you can be super aggressive, there are other starts where you're a bit more conservative um, and, and that's how you go into turn one, so it's just being at the right time, the right place and, and in your in your bubble, um, so that's the way to go into the race. So yeah, I think we've answered some good questions, thank you very much, um, if yours wasn't answered, maybe next time I'll try again, I promise, uh, but it was really good to see all of them and um, I hope we get good companies to the end of the year.